Hey guys, Devin here, Lifetime Preparedness. I'm about to go into work, but I want to talk to you about something real quick. Um, first off, thanks for all the support. Channel's been going great. Um, subs have been going up on our way to 500, but um, what I want to talk to you about was the possible incoming president. Let's put it that way. He is very pro-war in my opinion, and what I've seen from him. He's very pro-war. His record states he's going to go with whatever the establishment wants. So does that mean we are going to be, you know, at, you know, button heads with China even more? I actually don't think so. <clears throat> I think he's going to give more power to China. I think he's with the establishment, and they want to make China happy. So that way they can get cheap labor to sell their products and to boost up all these big corporations, you know, like Amazon, Walmart, etc. Um, industry in other countries. Because if they can make China happy, they can keep, you know, using like super cheap labor, guys. It's basically slave work. It, it is slave work. It's what it is. While they're over there committing atrocities, having over a million Muslims in concentration camps, I mean, it's absolutely atrocious. And then they're cutting out their organs and <clears throat> organ, organ harvesting and selling them to people in the Middle East. Because they can only have certain types of organs. It's, guys, it's, it's, he's, he's going to be too weak on China, I'm telling you. He's going to be very weak on China. And China's going to get their way. We're just going to kind of bow down to him. As a country, now not as a people, <clears throat> as a country, I think that's where we're headed if, if uh, he takes power. Um, I don't you know, know that for sure, but that, that's what I see happening from the, his history. He's very, just goes with the flow, does what everyone wants kind of thing. And um, I don't agree with that. He just goes with the establishment, and I'm not a big establishment guy. I'm really not. That's why Incoming I didn't call. really, um, Press you, connect you know, phone button to answer. My car's talking to me. That's all right. Um, you know, I, call rejected. I, yes, I did reject the call. Um, I don't. I don't really agree with um, the establishment. I don't like the establishment, and neither should you, because we like to be, you know, our own people, and that's kind of why we have a constitution. We have our. Own, we can be our own people. We can do what we want, and you know, China has more power over us, over the world kind of lose some of that especially with the um you know online gun ban and then whatever else that joe biden's gonna do i mean he's gonna stop the sale of gun accessories gun parts gun everything you can't even probably buy you probably won't even be able to buy a sling on there a mag pouch you probably won't be able to buy a piece of fabric who knows like uh he's he's banning it all so you know i mean obviously we all lost our guns in a boating accident so how unfortunate but um, Joe Biden's coming for him. He said he was putting um, O'Rourke there. That whack job or whatever you want to call him. He um, was putting him in there. And, um, you know, we'll see what happens. But um, people aren't going to take this laying down. I got to tell you that. We as people are not going to take this laying down. We are the United States of America. We're united. We're, we're a union of states. That brings me to the next thing I wanted to say. We're not a democracy, guys. We're not. We're a constitutional republic. We are a union of states that are sovereign from the federal government. And if we do not want to abide by the federal government's laws that violate our constitutional rights, we do not have to. We are sovereign states. And I don't think Joe Biden or his administration or the people on the left understand that. Or I know they don't accept it. But I don't think they understand. <clears throat> we can stand up and fight. We can. Whether that's in the courts or on the ground. We can stand up and fight. Now, I, I love it here in New York. I love, I love the scenery. I love everything. <clears throat> I got to be honest with you. In my area, I now I will say my county where I live is only, I live on the outskirts of the county, but my county is the only county that went blue. Um, it for well, other than other than Albany County, 
Syracuse and, um, you know, uh, Westchester in the city. Um, and then a couple other little ones. But they, the little ones don't matter, guys. Um, but the amount of people that are more conservative or pro-gun or pro-whatever you want to call it, um, there's a lot of us here. There is a lot of us. What are those people in the city? What are the politicians going to do? Our, our our cops are not going to enforce those laws. Not happening. Now our county sheriff might. But um, the rest won't. I'll, I'll move to another county. I'll be fine. Sanctuary County. I'm telling you, it's coming. It's coming to New York State. I feel it. We've already had, you know, sheriffs and whatnot all come and chiefs all come out and say they're not enforcing unconstitutional laws, so... It is what it is. I see cops all over the place saying nothing about masks. They're not doing it. They're not putting up with the nonsense. So, you know, guys, with that being said, if you want to show support for the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Share with your friends and family. I just want to get this quick video out there, a little rant. But, um, you know, guys, go ahead and hit the bell. YouTube may or may not notify you. Go ahead and like the video. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later, tomorrow, something like that. Have a good one.